Alright, I'm so hyped off that last part. The White Hills got to get the shit kicked out of them a little bit. Uh, got a few nice soldiers. And hopefully, we can get something going to Marine. Bring some troops with us. I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking I will not let about? you bark orders at me! What's going on? Why the hell are you drinking? Since when do I need a fucking reason? She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Bisco, anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> oh, the fuck? Croft doesn't know shit about anything. Unfortunately, we have to listen to him, even if he is an arsehole. He's in charge of this mission, and what he says He's goes... He's not in charge of me. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <laughs> your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here. I'm doing this for my family, Beska. This is oh, the only it's way. It's always about you. Your family. Your problem. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. What are you so afraid of? I was a slave! Here, in this fucking city! <sighs> I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy... We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I'm... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dizor so. Raza, because of that man.
Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lords Morgrin and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. This is important, Sarah. Important enough to get us both sent home. I have to do this. <sighs> Fine. But you owe me, understand? She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble, I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwick! Uh, What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? My apologies. I just noticed Lord Zandros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe them. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That and... is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! And why would you ever stop dealing iron? Is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. No need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things. Oh, I can't believe 
remember. I, I think it was a bird. Oh, close. A cop. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Mm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No. Nope. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> oh, leave him alone. Please excuse me. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> Shit. You startled me. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You work with Lord Andros, right? Well, yes. We do some business together. What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... Well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Oh, shit. Lady Marjorie.
Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Don't tease me, Lord Tarwick. I'll keep your secret safe. I suppose I could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I really couldn't say, my lord. Spare me the pretense. You know her as well as anybody. Now tell me the truth. Please, Lady Mira. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah. Right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us... He's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes? You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros. The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? He was killed, right here in the garden. Well... Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Oh, surely they found who did Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please... Please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just... just leave. Just be quiet, Lyman. Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. 
No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... That army will destroy my family. That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... You bloody traitor. You promised me! Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Now he's gonna wanna kill me. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. <laughs> Fucking prick.